kids, welcome to Kids Connect. Today is brought to you by the color purple. Here's your host, DJ R -R 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 Ray and Gilbert. Welcome to Kids Connect. Today, DJ B -B -B Ray isn't here because he's looking for information about the Thunderbirds today. So now I'm in charge. <laughs> okay, anyway, today is brought to you by the color purple. Wait, wait, hold up. What? Wait, cut, cut, cut. The camera is upside down. Okay, now that that's fixed, we can get back on track. Now we're gonna look at last week we write, which was was about the color red. And we only got one submission, so let's take a look. I think it's this one. Everybody out there, can you give me one snap? Everybody out there, can you give me two snaps? Everybody out there, can you give me three snaps? Okay, wait, 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 stop, wait, wrong button. I think it's this one. Okay, that worked. We only got one submission, which was by Alexander and Audrey. And man, that ramen noodle looks really good. I was gonna send my own picture of me with me and my Tweezlers, but I ate all of them, so yeah. Now it's time to look at things that are the color. Great, what? That's not right. Hold on, maybe this one. No, that's still not right. Maybe this one. Ugh. Where's R R DJ R R R Ray when you need him? Okay, maybe this one. Nope. Okay, maybe this one. Ah! DJ R R R Ray is back. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh my goodness, Ow. Albert. Ow. What are you doing? Ow. Well, first of all, why in the world is there a self-destruct button in the studio? <laughs> I think that the spies from last week left it behind. <laughs> but you cleaned up fairly well. Looks nice again. Yeah. How's your arm? Oh, it's hurting very bad. It's hurting very bad. Well, let's continue on with today's episode. What do you say? Yep. Yep. All right. Here we go. We're talking about the color purple and themes that are purple, right? Right. Awesome. The first one that I could think of was Manamana. 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 That is my favorite Muppet song. Isn't that one of your favorite Muppet songs? Yeah, but did you know that's my brother from another mother? <laughs> oh, he is, really? <laughs> that's funny. Well, Let's see what else is purple. Kids, if you can think of something that's purple, comment in the section below, and we would like to see what you think of things that are purple. Let's take a look. What do you think? Grapes are purple. Hey, did you know those things taste grape? <laughs> yeah, they do taste grape. <laughs> and you know what else tastes grape? Is grape juice. What? Isn't that made from grape? Yeah, it sure is. That's probably why it's still purple, right? Right. Yeah, okay. Let's look at the next thing. What you say? Yeah. Who Do you is know that? who Grimace is? No, I have no idea. You who don't he know is. who Grimace is? Man, I used to I grew up with Grimace at McDonald's and Ronald McDonald and the Hamburglar. He was a pretty cool dude growing up when we used to visit McDonald's and his name was Grimace, Mr. Purple at McDonald's. Do you know what flower this is? The columbine? The columbine flower, that's right. Do you know the significance of the columbine flower? Isn't it Colorado State flower? It is Colorado State's flower, absolutely. A lot of people say it's blue, but I think it has a little bit of purple in it, so I snuck it in there. Don't tell anybody, okay? Okay. All right, very good. And you know what else is purple? Cotton candy is purple. Don't you get cotton candy when you go to the state fair? All the time, but I even get it a lot at the rodeo. At the rodeo? Oh my goodness, okay. Yes, we love cotton candy. 
And of course, we gotta get our Star Wars reference in for the day. Love the purple lightsaber from Mace Windu, don't you? Yeah, man. <laughs> Super cool. Super cool. Better than the blue and the green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think so too. All right, so there's the Star Wars shout out. And last but not least, I think one of the better examples of what purple means is a kingly robe, a robe that a king would wear. Because when you wear purple, you're wearing something that has royalty, that has some special element to it that nobody else has. It's royalty. And that brings us to God's amazing word. Hey kids, it's time for the amazing word because God's word is always amazing. Take a look at this picture and see if you can figure out what today's story is all about. Can you think of it? This one's a little bit harder because it's not a popular story in the Bible, but it is in the Bible. Can you think of what it is? Kids, comment in the section below if you have any ideas. Gilbert, what do you think? You know, I think I'm going to learn something new today. <laughs> you think so, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, this picture represents Lydia. Can you say Lydia? Lydia. And Lydia, that's right. Lydia was an amazing lady in the Bible who led her entire family to the Lord. And so we're going to talk about that today, okay? But before we do, I want to play a game. You want to play a game? Yeah. Yeah, let's play a game. I'm going to put up a screen that has a whole bunch of words on it. And I want to see if you can come up with a scripture that puts those words together, okay? It's going to be two words that go together, all right? All right. See if you can figure it out. Ready? Hmm. You know, this reminds me of a song. You think so? Yeah. Are you sure it's not wholly peculiar? I don't think so. Or Chosen Royal? <laughs> no, I don't think no, so either. So, let's take a look and see what the Bible says. And then we find this in Second Peter, sorry, First Peter, chapter two and verse nine, when it says, "But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of Him who hath called you out of darkness into His marvelous light." 1 Peter chapter 2 in the King James Version. Let's take a look and see the story about Lydia. A certain woman named Lydia, and this is found in the book of Acts chapter 16. A certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple. Do you know what that means, a seller of purple? Nope, I don't know. That, what that means she was like a Hobby Lobby back in those days when she used to sell material. So people could make curtains, people could make dresses, people could make blankets. And so they called her a seller of purple. And she was in the city of Thyatira, something like that at least, which worshiped God. She loved to worship the Lord. And when the Lord opened her heart, she attended to the teachings of the Apostle Paul. Love the Apostle Paul. And I like what it says in the next scripture. It says, and when she was baptized and her whole household, isn't that amazing that not only she was baptized in Jesus' name, but her entire family was baptized in Jesus' name. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. That is pretty cool. Let's see what happens, okay? She brought us out, us is Paul and Silas, saying, if ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, Come into my house and abide there. And she constrained them. She, she made them stay with her and made sure that they were well taken care of during their ministry. Would you know that it wasn't long before Paul and Silas winded up in jail? Wow. Yeah. And there was, they sang songs at midnight and there was a big earthquake and all these wonderful, amazing things happened. And then you know what? After all of that, after all of that craziness that happened, guess where Paul and Silas winded up? Again, the Bible says that they went out of the prison and entered into Lydia's house. That entered into the house of Lydia. And when they had seen the brethren, they were comforted and departed. You see, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you look like. What matters is I am going to give everything that I have inside of me to God to use. And when you do, 
Lydia became part of spreading the gospel to her entire community, even her family. And you know, kids, that's the very same thing can happen to you and me. If we take what little bit God has given us and put it to use, God will bless it and use it to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Did you know that you are our unique person, Gilbert? Yep. Do you know why you are our unique person? I think it's because I'm green. <laughs> well, true. I don't know too many green puppets out there. But that being said, you're not unique just because you're green. You're unique because God made you a unique person. And kids, God made you a unique person. And one that he wants to use your talents and ability for the glory of God. So as we pray today, let's pray. Lord, thank you for choosing us to be your people. God chose us. Thank you for creating us with unique amazing thank you for creating us to be unique and amazing people and no matter our ability or talent help us to use what you've given us to spread the gospel to those around us can you pray with me about that gilbert yeah good let's all pray together okay lord we love you today i thank you for your many blessings god you you chose us god out of the millions and millions of things that you created you chose, God, to come down and save your people from our sins. Thank you, God, for cho choosing us. Thank you, God, for, for saving our souls, God, and living inside of our heart. And God, I ask that you, you created us to be amazing and unique people, and we don't want to take those talents and abilities for granted, for granted. But instead, God, we want to use those things that the gospel of Jesus Christ might be spread through us so that people around us can see your love, they can see your goodness. They can see the joy that you bring <coughs> each and every day. And we praise you and magnify you. And everybody say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, kids, it's this time where we want you to send your pictures of purple things around your house to rcjr at cacdenver.org. And we'll be sharing those with you next week as we talk about the color orange. Everybody out there, can you give me?